Hi friends, it's Tammy Lynn back with another flip through quickly of my latest journal and it's called The Preacher's Wife. Um, we can secure it with the elastic lace if you want to as you fill it fuller and fuller. Um, but it doesn't need it right now. So um, it comes with this fascinator that um, could have been her bridal headpiece. And to take that off your cover, or you can leave it on, uh, you just simply untie the bows. And you have your fascinator here. I'm trying to work upside down, sort of, here. There you go. So there's a headpiece I made to go along with this journal. You could actually wear it if you wanted to dress up or use it for costume or to just set next to your journal. And then these can simply be tied in a bow and left as a decoration. And then this lace could be secured here and put the knot wherever you'd like that. So we'll take that off and get through the journal quickly. Along comes uh, with us a, an antique New Testament Bible that we will pretend was hers and a pretty image of her with one of her little girls. You could tuck inside your journal or keep in, in this old Bible. Just love that. My dad used to carry a small one like this around in his chest pocket wherever he went when I was growing up. Very fun memory. So this is a quilted cover over a hard book front and back and there's metal corner pieces the brass tips that I like to use three signatures are sewn in and from the spine we have an antique skeleton key and a curtain ring with a clip so you could add some things onto the clip there's a clock charm a trumpet charm an angel wing with a rose charm and a praying hands old metal piece with a prayer on the back. The preacher's wife's husband used to play the trumpet. So that's why that's there. And inside we have a pretty vellum sheet in the beginning of each of your signatures. We have some Bible cards with stories on the back that the preacher's wife used to teach to her classroom. Stories about Ruth, Noah, Daniel in the lion's den, and Jesus and the sick people. These are actual vintage cards and are very fun. You could use them for your children or your grandchildren. And this is a little pocket that I have them stuck in. There's a name area to put your name. And this might have been her, and her as a little girl, preacher's wife. Um, when she met her boyfriend before they were married, um, she, as all dating couples do, they started talking and found out that he was from the Italian descent and she was from the France. So she loved this mat for that reason. Here's a little Italian image on the back of this front of this paper bag you could use for anything you wanted and that's inside a pocket that says so very blessed here's an Italian man with his suitcase on the back of a bike and here's a picture of them when they were starting to date 
and she discovered that he was a barber and she was a beautician by trade. So there's a little beautician slash barber piece of uh, cardstock. And of course they fell in love and got married. Here's another French themed image. It's a pocket, cardstock pocket. And here's their uh, pretend marriage wedding certificate. Here's a poem, Two Hearts, One Hope. And I have some stampings here. I thought it might be fun if you wanted to color them in yourself. So there's that. And they started planning their wedding. And there's some wedding church old card remnants on these two pages. And here's a wedding gown from a greeting card. And that's in two pieces there. And over here we have, and the two shall become one. They did honeymoon in New York City. And this is a very old postcard of Times Square. I love that city. A lot of my friends and family know that. Here's a men money uh, style envelope that I made out of cardstock. And looks like three guys running a business on the front of that. Inside I have round coin sized brass pieces for you. Destiny on this one and this is a compass. You of course could add some more things to it yourself. That'd be fun. And they'd go to tea houses occasionally. They'd dream of what home they were going to have. It's another um, it's an Italian map scene. Here's a remnant of one of her dresses, perhaps. The best things to hold on to in life are each other, that says. This is a pocket. You and me tag. Next page, um, some Bible um, verse cards are in here. They did end up marrying and having three little girls. And after some sad miscarriages, they did have a little boy. So that's what this card is. Little boy says, it's a boy, charm. And they had a lot of faith. So faith is on there. And inside this little envelope, um, just to symbolize sweet babies, are little feet like I have on the front. So some glitter and little feet confetti. Very fun. You could uh, keep it in here or use it to decorate for a baby shower. Just a fun little addition to your journal. Now we're going to have pretty sparkles everywhere. How fun. <laughs> okay, let's move along quickly. Some more Bible verse cards. Thanks, caring. Casting your cares, the Lord is near to all. Strength, so some of her important Bible studies she might have done with these themes. We also have one of my Tammy Lynn postcards that I have for sale in my Etsy shop, TammyLynn.etsy.com. It's Paris theme, of course. I took this photo and had it printed, and then I rounded the corners for you. Amazing Grace hymn from an old sheet music book. Um, some washi tape that I make myself but does not remove. So that's a nice permanent strip of text. This is a fabric, I guess patch if you want to call it that, with a brass stud of three little girls. Could have been her little girls dressing up little tag with an old advertisement on it. Pretty rose with more of the washi tape. Two tags, uh, sewing cards. So the preacher's wife did a lot of sewing 
and you can unwrap that. That's an old mother of pearl button. Uh, she made the children's clothing and she helped at church doing sewing and with the neighbors. There's some blank pages, of course, for you to write on. Some more little feet punches. And these, this is a photocopy of some of the preacher's notes that he would do. Um, it's a purchase I made, and then I made a copy of it for you. It's kind of neat. Pretty pocket with two lavender roses on there. Some more smaller lines and blank pages for you to write notes on. And that's the back of that first signature. Here's one for number two. Signature number two, sweet little child resting there. And some cardstock. This signature is very uh, minimal. It's just basically this flip out. Um, this was fun to make. It took me a few hours, but um, it's the fruit of the spirit on the front. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. And they all flip up, and they all have goodies in the pockets. So I'm not going to show you everything. Uh, but in the one bigger, here's a cross charm hanging too. In this one, uh, there's an actual vintage Bible school postcard. Come on in. So it's got the writing on it, and it's from Rochester, New York, which is where I live. And hope you are well, and we'll be with you next Sunday. So that was this very old postcard. And I'll get that hook later. In this bigger pocket, I will show you is um, another photo when they started having children. It's a cabinet card antique photo that we will imagine could have been the preacher and his wife. A little brass stud there. And that's the end of that number two. And then we have the old rugged cross printed on the pretty vellum. For your last signature, a little fold out, flip out, double, triple pocket made of coffee filters. One coffee filter with some brass studs and a sweet little girl with her teddy bears on there. And in there are some more uh, little tiny sheet musics from an antique music choir book that I have. So there's the back pocket, and then there's the front one. You can put them wherever you'd like. And we have some, hmm, what do you call this? It's a tool I have that punches the sides and makes those little marks. And another sweet vintage photo of a classroom that the preacher's wife helped with. And another old advertisement card tag. Um, I do have another one of my postcards that I sell. It's a black and white of old items. I used to have a little shop site, and it was fun to decorate that with things that I made, my hats, and my here's a journal. And had some paper floral garland and old antique white boots, and this was a beautiful piece of furniture. I still have it with a uh, mirror there, beveled mirror behind it. So this is sort of a tuck pot spot. It's not really a pocket, but there is room for more items in there. Pretty tree. They used to take walks in the woods to get away and have some quiet because it's quite demanding being a preacher and a preacher's wife, raising a family, I'm sure. It would be another ad and a pretty bookmark I made you with a uh, rub on transfer rose on the script cardstock with a pretty blue back. Sort of brought out the blue here. I have a raised um, cutout of some pretty flowers there. Always with you is on the pocket. 
beautiful uh, vintage greeting card that I dusted with some what I call fairy dust and uh, aged it up and we made some envelopes for you that you can use to give to friends and they are empty but there's a clip to secure them shut pretty they sort of brought out the the pinks in that image there the old rugged cross um, which is the name of this third signature more sheet music and more another greeting card that I made a pocket out of and in here is another advertisement tag for photography this is a vintage stamp and a sweet photograph image vintage image of a little girl washing her dolly in the big tub and there's some clients waiting in the chair Maybe it's their spa day for them. <laughs> More blank papers. Lots of room to write. And that's the back of that old rugged cross vellum. And we have some pretty trim. We have another little tuck spot here and the rest of the collection of story cards that I have. Joseph, coat of many colors. Little boy Jesus. And Jesus is Alive, Easter. So, you get that. You get um, the headpiece. And you get the, I love this pretty tag too, I didn't show you that. Um, little girls are special. And that's a little ballerina tutu on that one. So, um, I will... I do have this rather uh, linked already on my Etsy shop, Tammy Lynn Etsy, and pretty decal there. Transfer it says faith on fabric and gratitude. And like I said, you can leave the headpiece on there, or you can uh, just wrap this around it to secure it, or leave it off. Get lots of glitter. So you get your New Testament, which is very old. <laughs> and the bridal headpiece and the little imaginary story based on true facts um, from the life that I led uh, with my parents so I hope you enjoy your journal and it would be a great conversation piece on a coffee table in a guest room or it would be a lovely gift um, I can I'll box it up nicely for you. And if you want something special for the wrapping, I could do that for you too. Um, or just keep it yourself. And I hope you have a great day and a wonderful spring. And I'll see you back soon with my next junk journal. Until then, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.